this is more of a uh, a wealth look. I, I I've, I've kept this. I've had this diagram or this slide or this you know image for I don't know. I mean, probably ten years now. Um, but this is really how wealth is built in real estate. This is you know the clearest example that I've come across. Um, and basically, what this shows you is some of you have probably seen this before. You buy a house today for three hundred thousand bucks. You don't have to put fifty thousand dollars but down, but this diagram basically shows or this slide shows that you're putting fifty thousand dollars down. So initially you have about fifty thousand dollars in equity, the difference between what you the, the purchase price or the value of the property today and what you owe on the debt. Over time, you see it down at the bottom, you have one, five, ten, fifteen, and twenty years. Over time, the purchase, uh, excuse me, the value of this property is going up. Um, and the value right in this particular slide is going up at four percent. Um, pretty conservative number, you know. Sometimes you you see uh, uh, properties go up six, seven percent. Sometimes they're a little bit less. I say four percent is a pretty uh, conservative number to use. And over time, you can see that the value of this property has gone up to four uh, five hundred and forty one thousand. And simultaneously, you are paying debt, uh, paying debt off, right? With each mortgage payment that you're making, a portion of it goes to the bank as interest. For the 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 use of that loan, and then a portion also goes to uh, pay down your principal, which is increasing your net worth or increasing your equity within the uh, property as well. So those two things are happening simultaneously. Your property value is appreciating. It doesn't always go up in a straight line like this. Sometimes it's more stock market line. It's up and down, and depending on what we're going. And then your debt is also being paid down. You've basically taken fifty thousand dollars and turned it into roughly four hundred and thirty thousand dollars in equity. This is a very real thing. This is how uh, true wealth is really built in real estate. The beauty of this is most people, most people in society today, super impatient. We live in a super impatient society. Like, I don't want to wait 20 years. I'm going to be like 25 and 20 years. And I don't want to wait that long for 400 something thousand bucks, right? You don't have to keep the property that long. You can sell it at year 10. You still have some equity. The beauty of this is, is the snowball effect of it, right? And this is what most people don't see is you look at this one chart and you say, well, that's great. I got $400,000 in equity. Most people are also thinking, well, if it's not in my bank account, it doesn't really matter to me. But equity is a real thing, right? Equity, if, you, if you're familiar with the term home equity loan, home equity line of credit, or cash out refi, you in, can go in here in year 10, or let's say year 12, you probably have $200,000 in equity. You can go out and as long as your, do, your debt to income ratio isn't exceeded here, you can go out and pull cash out of this property, put cash into your bank account and use that cash to go buy another property, right? And then when that property is appreciating and the debt's being paid down, you can use that and you can pull that equity out and go buy another property. And this is how my portfolio and many investors have snowballed uh, over time. It just gets faster and faster and faster because we're going out and tapping into the equity within these properties and going out and pulling them out and going and buying other properties. And now all of a sudden, if... $400,000 in equity isn't impressive to you. Imagine if you have 10 properties where you're simultaneously uh, appreciating and simultaneously paying down the debt over that 20 year span. And now $400,000 is roughly $4 million between those 10 properties. Here's the real kicker. Here's what kind of threw me and in, in just made me fall in love with this business all over again. What this diagram doesn't show, or what this chart doesn't show is this is you, this is a condo, this is a single family, this is you making those monthly mortgage payments and the property appreciating and the debt being paid down. But what we're not talking about here is you're not even in most cases making those rental payments, your tenants are making those rental payments, right? Your tenants are making you rich night after night, day after day, month after month, payment after payment, year after year, somebody else is paying you to live in your home while the value is appreciating, while the debt's being paid down, and while you're also cash flowing from the property as well. If you think about all the different ways that you can make money with real estate, it's really uh, quite amazing. Amortization and appreciation working simultaneously. That is absolutely right. The, the process uh, of a property uh, appreciating, the, the value going up, and the debt being paid down is the debt being paid down, the word is called amortization. Those two, two things working simultaneous, simultaneously is a beautiful thing. You couple that with somebody else paying you or paying off this, this, this mortgage for you. You couple that with somebody else also putting money in your pocket every month. I, 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 I'm, I don't know a better business. I really don't.